hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is your girl adriana dc today's video is going to be my perfume tray video for this week and an update on the fragrances that i laid out on last week's tray as you can see these are the lovely selections that i selected for last week to wear for you know the week leading up to christmas i'm gonna be giving you guys an update let you guys know whether or not i kept to this tray and what scents I wore in particular, including what scents I wore on Christmas Day. And of course, the beautiful selections that I have lined up for next week. So if you guys are interested in seeing this week's perfume tray, then by all means, keep on watching. If you guys are new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time I upload. And for those of you who are my returning subscribers, Thank you guys for supporting me. I truly appreciate your support. So these are the lovely scents that I selected for last week. And I managed to wear every single one of them. However, this one was a bit of a touch and go. Okay. So let's just start off with that one. So Velvet Oud. This is a fragrance by Latafa. It smells like crisp, citrusy, clean, leather and oud. Very prominent leathery scent. I began spraying this on you know the outfit that i was wearing on a particular day and i felt it was a bit too strong and overpowering and then i oh right i didn't want to wear this one that day i actually switched to switch to this right so that's it so um on that particular day i selected this one to wear i started spraying that was like no i don't want to wear this one for the particular event or location or whatever and i decided to wear this one and funny enough by the end of the day this perfume had settled down quite a lot and this perfume the few sprays that i sprayed on me was like boom it was just like knocking you out it was like in my face and i was like whoa that's kind of strong you guys so my leather oud definitely you know stood out this week if i could be honest i would call her the superstar of the week i will however say that the leathery vibes kind of intensified a lot so she was a superstar of this week, but I'm not quite sure how much I enjoyed wearing her this week. I don't know. I don't know. The leather kind of blew me away this week. Okay, so that's leather. That's Velvet Oud by La Taffa. All the other beautiful scents I wore. Do I remember wearing you? Love Fest Burning Cherry. You know what? I don't remember wearing this fragrance. I really don't. I feel like I did. I feel like I wore every single fragrance. But this has been such a long week, you guys. I do remember wearing this one. My son gave me a lovely compliment. He said, Mom, that one, the gold bottle is busting, busting. These kids got all kind of descriptions and stuff. But I was like, what does busting, busting mean? He was like, Mom, it smells really good. So I got a compliment wearing this one for my son. If you call that one, if you validate that compliment. Um, I wore this baby. This one was really nice. Again, it's a soft floral fragrance. It's warm and it's an amber floral scent and it kind of it wears very well. It's kind of like um, a low vibration type of scent. So I definitely love that. Tobacco oud. I wore tobacco oud and I layered tobacco oud with something. I layered tobacco oud with vanilla 28 so I actually layered tobacco oud with vanilla 28 because i love tobacco oud to me tobacco oud accentuates the tobacco woody touches in here and it's a beautiful um the tobacco is not too overpowering nothing like tobacco color but it's a dry woody or a little bit earthy tobacco scent and and sometimes i just feel like i need a little bit more sweetness with it i will however say to you this perfume lasts very well this fragrance when i wear it i smell it for the entire time i have it on for the duration of the day, I smell this fragrance all day. So this is solid, in my opinion. Um, she actually was, um, she stood out a little bit more than Angel Muse. Some kind of how, I don't understand. This baby here, like I said to you guys, I want to wear this one for Christmas. I most definitely wore it for Christmas. I layered it with Libra in tents, you guys, because, just because, you know me. I, I just had to have it like really nice and extra punchy. Christmas day, I just meant that I wanted the gods to smell me. I didn't get no compliments though, which is like, I don't get it. <laughs> yes, I didn't get any compliments wearing Ombre Nomad combined with, with, um, what I said, Lieb. I didn't. But yeah, you guys know how I feel about my way. So Lieb and this Ombre Nomad right here is a big, 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 big hit in the world of Ouds coming from Louis Vuitton, you guys. So just a quick little round up. I actually wore my YSL Lieb. Um, 
with my ombre nomad on christmas day and i wore my vanilla 28 with tobacco oud because i want to add a bit of sweetness to it and these are all of the fragrances that i wore for this entire week thoroughly 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 enjoyed all of these babies especially this one i don't give this one enough love but it's such a beautiful fragrance it's a really nice scent you guys so let's just move on to this week's lineup all right so first i'm gonna be laying out carolina herrera good girl and this week's tray i was just looking through my collection and i was like i have ooh, I was just looking through my collection and realized that I have not worn this fragrance in ages. You guys I haven't worn it for the fall season, but maybe I did, but I can't remember. Okay, obviously, <laughs> I was a bit MIA, you know, during fall. But Carolina Herrera is a nice white floral, creamy, um, sweet chunka bean jazz mixing with vanilla. Um, this fragrance does have in coffee, but I don't get coffee. It just smells sexy. There is also somewhat of a a soapiness to this fragrance which is very interesting and that kind of adds a bit of transparency to this scent to an extent for me i always find this fragrance um very interesting because most people find it to be overbearing um too loud too strong and in my eyes this is a soft fragrance it's just kind of weird not only is it soft again those florally touches in the heart for me kind of gives me slight soapy clean vibes i don't know there's a clean vibe to this perfume yet sweet and florally and a little bit gourmand ish in my opinion so this is carolina herrera good girl i'm gonna be wearing this fragrance this week i always look forward to wearing that scent next up we have tom ford's velvet orchid and this is another fragrance in my collection that does not get shown enough love and that's because this is a fall and winter scent so Throughout the year, um, obviously, I wouldn't really pull for this fragrance. But this is a beautiful, warm, spicy, florally, ambery fragrance, in my opinion. The florals are very much accentuated in here. so But it's a kind of like a dry, florally essence. There is um, some rum in here. I love fragrances with rum, you guys. There's also some sandalwood and, of course, some vanilla in the base of this fragrance, which you definitely get. There is something so sexy about this, um, this particular fragrance this dna in particular the orchid dna and even though they are flankers of them of each other something each of them gives you something a lot more smooth a lot more sweeter well this one in particular velvet orchid i would the name say of this fragrance captures the scent provide and the vibe of it so so accurately and i want to say i never really like um <laughs> noticed that i am in love with the scent but i didn't realize how much velvet orchid captured you know how this fragrance really really smells you guys beautiful perfume i have not worn for the fall i look forward to pulling this fragrance out and i think and i just know that i'm gonna be smelling good because when it comes to tom ford orchid scents is a smell good type of fragrance you know that kind of way Next up, we have Roses Vanille, like the name implies. This is a, like a musky, sugary rose and vanilla scent. I want to say there is some amber in here so as well. Um, this is just a beautiful, sugary rose vanilla scent. Very much uncomplicated, yet interesting and beautiful at the same time. It's strong. It's nice. It gives you fall and winter vibes. It gives you cold winter night vibes. It can be worn all year round because it's not that, you know, overpowering. But something about this rose and vanilla scent is a cold fragrance. I don't know how to describe it. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but it's a cold fragrance. Most perfumes with similar note profiles, it would most likely have some warmth to it but this is like a cold rose and vanilla scent so yeah this is a beautiful fragrance i don't need to rave, rave too much about roses vanille roses vanille has its status in the perfume wall and i don't think it'll ever go away because it's just a beautiful fragrance one of the most beautiful offerings from mancera in my opinion next up we have my beloved desert rosewood from goldfield and banks and this is a beautiful dry earthy woody scent with the essence of rosewood going throughout the fragrance it has some spiciness to it it's just overall a really beautiful fragrance but to capture the true scent is a dry spicy woody fragrance with the essence of rosewood going through and through this fragrance from top to bottom beautiful scent you guys in my opinion 
even though the scent profile isn't that unique this blend is most definitely unique and i want to say um there are notes that's included in this fragrance that definitely gives off a different vibe and a very unique blend to it which is why you know like the, the brand claims they use a lot of unique notes that's kind of like um it's only available in australia and i would say that because there's something about this fragrance that is so beautiful you guys the blend the combination the rosewood essence in here mixing with those spicy elements the woody touches it's just so beautiful this is not just a simple woody rose scent you guys a beautiful balsamic scent so there's a rosewood i always just walking by my perfume you know storage and taking a sniff of this perfume is such a pleasure and absolute joy so desert rosewood i'm pulling that baby out this week next up i have oud bouquet now this is a, such a heavy perfume that i very rarely pull for it but we're not gonna about we're not about to let this fragrance go to waste so i'm gonna bring this fragrance out i usually resolve this scent to special occasions okay hence why it doesn't get a lot of wear because i think this is a really like heavy scent this is a big fragrance it's not a perfume that you just wear casually but we're gonna have to bring her out this week maybe wear her for earlier's night or whatever i'll most likely be layering her just because you know i just like to layer my scents i realize that i like to layer my scents more and more these days so oud bouquet i'm bringing this baby out and showing her some love i'm not quite sure where i'm gonna wear her hopefully i have somewhere you know special to wear that fragrance next up i'm bringing out my sweet diamond pink pepper to wear this week which as you guys know another spicy patchouli woody musky fragrance that i love there is somewhat of a metallic feel to this perfume. I guess it's a patchouli. The patchouli mixing with those spicy, with the, um, yeah, the patchouli mixing with those spicy elements. It gives off somewhat of a metallic vibe that's very distinctive. And when you wear it, when the rose dries down, that's the essence that lingers on your skin when you wear this beautiful fragrance. I love this perfume. It's not my favorite from the brand, but I do enjoy wearing this scent. No doubt it wears quite beautifully because it lasts. And again, it lingers and stays with you. In terms of projection, I know we just have the sugared patchouli, but I want to say this one has a very, very strong projection. I feel like it probably is one of the most outstanding projecting scents from the Kylie range, in my opinion. All right, so I think I'm going to stick with just six scents for this week because this perfume trade video is actually a little bit late so this is going to be a short weekly tree in my opinion because i'm going to hope to i'm hoping to get back to regular programming next week and i'll be giving you guys my perfume tray video on monday so this a these are my selections for this week you guys i do hope you guys enjoy this video please do give me a very big thumbs up if in fact you did and you made it to the end let me know what scents you guys are gonna be wearing for new year's eve you know what kind of fragrances you know you like to pull out for such special occasions and stuff like that but yeah this is my rotation for this week and i do hope you enjoyed and please don't forget to subscribe before you exit Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. Make sure the notification bell is activated so that way you will be notified and you will not miss a single beat from me, you guys. Until next time, see you guys in my next video. Happy New Year when it comes, you guys. <laughs>